Hello and welcome to an exciting Let's Play of Full Throttle, one of my favorite games that came out when I was about 12 or 13. I loved motorcycles, loved motorcycle culture, didn't know what to do about it. And then this game comes out. My god. Let's go ahead and jump into it and I will give expositions and all that good shit later on. Whenever I smell asphalt, I think of Marine. That's the last sensation I had before I blacked out. The thick smell of asphalt. And the first thing I saw when I woke up was her face. She said she'd fix my bike. Free. No strings attached. I should have known then that things are never that simple. Yeah. When I think of Marine, I think of two things. Asphalt and trouble. Rip Burger, you're dumber than dirt. Oh, Mr. Corley, if you'd only listen to my plan, my vision. I know your plan, Rip Burger. You're waiting for me to die so you can take over my company. Oh, sir, that's horrible. And I accurate. I'm waiting for you to die. You know I've never liked you, Rip. But you have business know-how and killer instincts that I respect. Why, thank you, sir. But this latest idea of yours, riding up to our shareholders' meeting with a gang of bikers? Who do you think you're fooling? The shareholders, sir. It's good PR to be seen hobnobbing with real Corey Waters customers. What do you know about our customers, Adrian? You've never even been on a bike. You know I'd be on one right now, sir, if it weren't for my destabilizing inner ear condition. Ah, your ears are fine. It's what's between them that scares me. I feel like I should point out that that's Mark Hamill as Rip Burger. Guy has done so much voice acting. And here kicks in the fucking soundtrack. How fucking amazing. Now there go some boys I can ride with. Step on it. Let's find out who they are. This soundtrack seriously fueled my teen years. I spent so long trying to find out where can I get this album at. It was before the internet and all that good shit, so... Or, well... During the internet's young life, back when we still believed stores might hold shit in there that we might want, was not the case. And I've had a motorcycle similar to that. Roy Conrad, rest in peace, brother. I think he's dead, although they did have a few of the other uh, voice actors come in and redo some of their lines. Tim Schafer, I think, and I could be wrong. I think Tim Schafer, this was the first game he did all by himself or whatever. I completely forget, so don't quote me on that. But Tim Schafer did so many of your favorite LucasArts games, and he's, he was an absolute fucking powerhouse. Featuring music by the Gone Jackals. Mark Crowley. Man, this game did make me love falling and fall in love with uh, riding motorcycles. And I rode a motorcycle for 10 years, and I mean, because, well, I was dirt poor, and it was the only way I could afford to get around, right? And it was a lot of fun. I mean, I never did any MC club bullshit like these guys are all into. But damn, G Willikers. I had a Honda Shadow, and that was the closest bike I could think of in my price range. That was similar to Ben's bike here, and I was all about that. I was all about that, like, look at this bike. <laughs> Fucking fancy ass motorcycle. Have never crashed a motorcycle, knock on wood. <laughs> I'd like to ride him again, but hey, man, man, I get worried. <laughs> you know, Ben, we're broke. Yeah. And if some cash doesn't come our way soon, we're in big trouble. Relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. Something big. 
better hope so. Beer ain't free. Eh, uh, you better stay out here, Rip. This place is bikers only. <laughs> <laughs> you little prick. All right. Who's the guy that drove over my car? That's me. What could possibly be taking so long? Maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. Yeah, maybe they took the old guy out back and worked him over with a two by four. Hmm. An appealing notion, but improbable. More likely he's boring them to death with some tale of the glory days. <laughs> but Malcolm, isn't that illegal? Not back then it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you ride with these days? He rides with me. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I told you to wait out in the limo, Rip Burger. I thought you might like some help with your sales pitch, sir. Sales pitch? Yes. We've come here today to offer you and your men employment. Mr. Corley requires an escort to the annual Corley Motors shareholders meeting. Does this look like an escort service to you? Yeah. You would be well compensated for your time, of course. Not interested. It's uh, fairly obvious that you could use the money. Listen, I said we're not for rent. The polecats are not goons for hire. Not even if it were Malcolm Corley's dying wish. Rip Burger! That does it. I'm gonna... Hold on there, Malcolm. If you don't mind, I'd like to step outside with Mr. Ripburger for a little chat. Excellent idea. Anyways, damn. All right. And the doctor what, says what he only has a few months to live. That's bad news for all of us. He's not just a nice guy. He's also the last motorcycle maker in the country. What happens to Corley Motors if he dies? Don't worry. I have a plan. And if you come to the shareholders' meeting with us, you'll find out what it is. No dice, Rip Burger. The Polecats are not thugs for rent. If you want to buy muscle, you should go find the Rot Wheelers. The old man says it's the Polecats are nothing. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. That's stupid. Mm -hmm. You just said That's you need your money. Last word. That's it. Well, I'd like to make you just one final offer. Ooh! <sighs> Bolus, take this coat and go get his motorcycle. We'll have to tie up this little 200 pound loose end. 200? <laughs> Damn. It'll need to look like an accident. That stuffed shirt actually thinks I'll leave him in control of Corley Motors when I go. Boy, is he in for a surprise. Hey, where's Ben going? Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer, after all. As a matter of fact, he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well then, let's roll him, boys! Yahoo! Alright, well, oh, that's Bill, weird. Here we come. How did we leave? Yep, yeah, I know. You don't gotta tell me. And so the game begins. Now, a few things I want to go off about is the game takes place in a sort of alternate future. I mean, as we noticed, there was already a hover car, whatever. I guess GPS didn't exist back then and the internet, whatever. We never see mentions of that. Hmm. Where are we? Wait a minute. Aha! We were in a dumpster. And we have our menu right here. We have grab. We have talk or lick. Look and kick. Take that. I've woken up and worse. <laughs> I've touched it enough. And we have a cheat mode, sort of. They're empty. Anyways, so the graphics, can I do it? Yeah, this is what the graphics used to look like, and I'm not even going to lie, back then in the day, that was still very impressive. Like, just the animation, 
and just how it all looked. Okay, well, let's go. Got a motorcycle here. Hmm. Some joker took my keys. I don't like that. Let me kick my bike. Some joker took my keys. Oh, no, keys. I can't. Let's look through the window. What's going on in there? It's empty, but I can see the bartender in there. All right, well, we see the bartender. The kickstand. Thanks for the, uh... No. Thing. Can I lick the door? I'm not putting my lips on that. Hmm. Open up. He's not opening. Open up. Well then... Uh, there's only one way in. I, uh, fixed your door. It was sticky. Look, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. What mess? I've never liked nose rings. Well, let's talk to the bartender. Someone dared me. Someone dared Looks me. like you're out of customers. Yeah, your gang talk off with those those well-dressed gentlemen. So what'll it be, Mac? Hmm. Where'd everybody head off to? What am I, the cruise director? Maybe they're up on the Lido deck. Uh, <laughs> I think you're in on this whole bum deal. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do about it? What do you have? I'm looking for my keys. I have no idea what you're talking about. What an odd you response. What do you got for a headache? A little sympathy. Thanks. But not <laughs> much. Ah, uh, well, some is better you than want none. something? Something smooth. Only smooth thing in here is my head, and you ain't touching it. You want something? What a fucking goofball. Um, I want to know who knocked me out. Maybe you just passed out. You should learn to handle your liquor. Oh, fuck off. You gonna order something? No. Hmm. Let's do a bit of looking around. Let's look at these antlers. Those might look good mounted on my handlebars. Nah. Nah. Let's look at the badger. Good thing that's a badger. Why? Because if that were a dead polecat... I'd have to trash the place. Can I play the piano? Yeah, right. Can I kick the piano? Play. All right, let's kick the bartender. No. I can't kick him. All right, well, what's in the register? I do need money. Hmm. It's empty. Don't get any ideas. Nothing to grab. It's empty. Well, shit. What if I grab the bartender? You know what might look better on your nose? What? The bar. <clears throat> now don't mess around with me. All right, all right. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What else? Nothing, nothing. Look, man. Here are your keys, all right? You did have my keys. Son of a bitch. Oh, uh, someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. They didn't do too good of a job there. But why ambush the pole cats? I'd better get moving. Can I talk to him anymore? I've got nothing to say. Oh, well, all right then. Hey. How strange. Now, how did my bike get back here? I thought they took it. And they took my jacket, so they... Took my jacket and my bike and came back and dressed me up and threw me in there? Like, why give me my jacket back? Why bring the motorcycle back so I can catch up to them? It doesn't make sense. When I'm on the road... I'm indestructible. No one can stop me. But they try. Look at that tire. Hey! 
Ain't you the A number one polecat honcho? Yeah, and you're in my way. Well, get used to it, bud. When the rock wheelers hit the road, we own it. Look, I'm serious. Someone's ambushing the polecats. Someone's ambushing the polecats? Oh, heavens. Whatever will we do? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You got this coming. That does it. Come on, kitty. Let's get down. Let's get down. I don't think that kicking does anything. Take it. Well, I guess that was the accident. He must have been hired by the other goons. Fuck yeah. Pop a wheelie, we're feeling good. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear, how long can we keep this, uh, this party up? Not long at all. And, oh god, we got no helmet. We're probably dead. That was the accident, wasn't it? Something about killing you and making it look like an accident. I have a plan. They had guns. Malcolm Cole is dying. Something about an ambush up the road. Son of a bitch. We were set up. I keep playing games where we get set up. What is up with me? is gruesome. My editor better print these in color. Mm. Now I have to get you some help, I suppose. Oh, that would help. Ah, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. What are you? I'm a mechanic. And apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. Need a little help getting it finished, though. Oh, well, well, well. Who's this? How's it look? It looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And someone stole my welding torch. Can you believe that? I cannot. I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. Hmm. How's it look? Well, basically what you got here is a unicycle. We need new forks, a, a welding torch, and some gas. How's it look? Aren't you paying attention? We need new forks, hey, a welding torch, and some gas. That's not what I said. I said number three, right? I thought I hit three. How's it look? No. Aren't you paying okay. attention? Why is that not working? We need new forks, a welding torch, and some gas. Okay, three is supposed to be this. We have one, two, three. Maybe, okay, maybe if I hit... Maybe if I hit four... How's it look? Aren't oh, you God. paying attention? We need new... Forks... Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. I hope we can. Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. Oh, this girl's got sass for days. Where am I going to find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new, new. Just not broken into little pieces. You can start by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs the junkyard. <laughs> Damn it. I'm having fate problems. How am I supposed to find your torch? I don't know. Set up a dragnet. Still can't believe someone would steal my torch. Who around here would do a thing like that? Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. 
I gotta get out of this town, fast. Trouble with the law? Not in this county. Then what's the hurry? What's the hurry, my furry? There's going to be an ambush. Ambush? Who's ambushing who? Not sure, but my gang's involved. We better get this bad boy back on the road then, huh? Absolutely. I don't have any money to pay you with. Hey, this one's free. I haven't touched anything besides a toaster for so long. Getting my hands on your hog has really been a pleasure. Where'd you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer we did nothing but restore this old hard tail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. So toaster repair apparently pays a lot of money in this town, or at least, I don't know, keeps her going. Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. Hmm. Actually, his last name is Throttle, as lame as that is. Is this an authorized Corley Service Center? Now you could call this a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. You live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust, or they leave. Which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. Look, if you want me to finish this thing... Say no more. Hmm. What is this? A hose? Mm hmm. This hose smells like gas. Let's take it. And a gas can. Wish this gas can was full. We may need these. Hey, a photograph. Who's this? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. And when he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. Hmm. <laughs> Let's look at our bike. Our poor bike. I hate seeing her like this. Why? It's really my best side. <laughs> uh, this girl's oh, got jokes. Oh, good. You're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. See, uh, why do the buttons sometimes work? I think the buttons just work on whatever I... I, don't I heard know. you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you helped. You want a picture of me bleeding? It's not the blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. Listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? I don't know exactly. My crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting, and there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. Um, uh, I... I... Yeah? This is hard for me. I... I need... Come on, man, spit it out! Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm without wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All right, drive safe now. That sounds so suspicious. She hitched here with me bleeding everywhere in the back of some stranger's car. That sounds like raging bullshit to me. Even when I was 13 years old, I did not believe... I believed a lot of shit. But I did not believe her. But I do have to say... This is what she used to look like in the old version. I never got to see her actual face. Like, you never got to see it. And here she is now. Let's look at this mailbox. Can I... Wait, can I kick Miranda? I owe her better than that. Can I grab her I and kiss her? Than that. Can I put my lips on her? Find us a ride yet? No. Nah. Alright, let's look at the uh, mailbox. It's empty. Why is it empty? I don't want to hurt Moe's mailbox. Wait, this is Moe's mailbox? Oh yeah, Moe's, not Miranda's. Alright, well, uh, I guess we're leaving. 
Nothing else to do here. Wait, what? Oh, you fucking trollop. And there she goes in the distance. Thanks for the lift. Now I got a quote for you. <laughs> All right. And the game has truly begun. Now, here's something goofy. Not a lot of people truly realized is you can actually quote unquote teleport. Like I can click there and he'll walk there and whatever, but if you double click, boom, 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 you can just teleport instantly. And not everybody really knew that back in the day, and honestly, I only kind of found it out just because I was experimenting, as I like to do in video games at times. Like, well, let's see how this operates. Let's see how that does. Sometimes I find things, but for the most part, I typically don't. And then there's... Wait a minute. Why does this keep lighting up? Something's going on here. Are you going to light up again? Are you going to make me look like a liar? Well, you'll just have to trust me that something was lighting up there. So let's double click and teleport here. Oh, there we go. I remember at one point I was able to beat this game entirely with th this entire game within 30 minutes. I was so proud about that when I was getting... Ooh, that's a nice little detail. Look at that. It actually lights up when I'm nearby. Now, to beat the game within 30 minutes, of course, I skipped everything. I double-clicked everywhere. I mean, whenever I learned about the double-click, I was like, click, 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 click. Let's, like, fucking get through the everything here. What's going on in this sandbox? Apparently, this guy has a dog. No thanks. This like. sandbox has been taken over by a big dog. What's down here in the skylight? Either someone's doing some welding down there. Oh, we're talking about some very subcode wiring. Wait a minute. We totally need... We need that welding. I bet you that's where Moe's uh, welding torch is. Smells like burning metal down there. Yeah. Hmm. No. Can I kick it? For all the good that did. Let's look in this window, maybe. Take your time, Ben. It's even sadder looking inside. This place is bolted up good. Wait, what's up the sandbags? Probably all that's holding this dump up. Nah. They just fall apart. It's even sadder looking inside. Hmm. All right, well. I think we're going to figure out what's going on if that's Moe's welding torch down there in the next video.